Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable two-factor authentication on Fortnite. It's actually pretty simple, so let's just get started. So what you'll want to do is you want to come on a web browser, either on your computer or on your phone, and you want to come here and type Epic Games. Epic Games is the company that created Fortnite, and you need to go onto their website to be able to turn on 2FA. So we're just going to click on this first link here, the Epic Games Store. Alright, so if this is the first time you've been on the Epic Games Store, the first thing you want to do is come to the top right and make sure you're logged into your account here. For me, it shows my username. For you, it'll say sign in, so you'll want to go ahead and do that. You're able to sign in straight with your Epic Games account, or you can sign in with Google, Xbox, PlayStation, tons of other different ways. So once you've signed in, you'll then want to go ahead and click on your username here, and then click on account. You'll be taken to a page that looks like this that has your personal info on it. Uh, I have mine blurred out, but next what you want to do is come over to the side and click on password and security. Next you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page until you get to the two-factor authentication section. So on Epic Games you have three different ways you can do 2FA. This first option here is using a third-party authenticator app such as Google Authenticator or I think Microsoft has an authenticator app. So for this you just got to connect your Epic Games to one of these authenticator apps and then whenever you try to log into your Epic Games, this Authenticator app will create a code that you need to use. SMS authentication is basically where they just text you a code to your phone whenever you try to log in. And email authentication, like it says in the name, they just email you the code. So for me, I'm going to select SMS authentication. That's just the one I like the most. It's the easiest for me. So next I'm going to select on. And then I need to add my phone number. So once you add your phone number, they're going to text you a code to make sure that you enter the right phone number. And then you'll just go ahead and enter that code here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I now have two-factor authentication on, and it automatically selects make this my primary two-factor authentication method. If you complete the 2FA steps, but you don't have any of these on, you can just go ahead and refresh the page and see if that fixes it. 